Okay, so you can't really see too well because I got this fill of wood right now, but uh, this is the the air that I have feeding into the secondary burn. Basically comes in here and goes straight back there into my um, injection nozzle, uh, mixer, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically I have it set up to where it'll burn up this top wood, the ashes kind of fall down to the bottom, uh, the, the gas has to travel through those, and uh, then goes into the secondary burn. Um, I'm going to show you how, how I light this. It's a uh, pretty easy. I just put a piece of paper in there, uh, light that piece of paper, and uh, the air blowing in there is enough for it to get the, see once it gets down there to the air, it gets pretty hot, ignites those coals, and those coals end up igniting uh, the wood and everything gets burning pretty good. Um, doesn't take too long, but I'm gonna shut this off and probably about five more minutes I'll come back and uh, we'll have a fire going. Okay, so it's been going for a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but I see a little bit of smoke still coming off. Don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's still there's still a little bit coming out of there. Not too bad, but, but some smoke. Um, Take a look down here in the secondary burn and see if it's ignited. How that's going. Um, sounds like it's going, but I can't see anything. I know the last time I did this, it was, it was kind of evening, so it was darker. And I can see a blue flame with a little bit of orange mixed in every once in a while, but I can't really see anything there. Wait till it's night and darker to see if I can see the flame. Uh, you can see sparks and stuff come out every once in a while. Um, but anyway, it seems to be burning pretty clean. Not perfect, but not too bad either. And I can see a little bit when I'm not looking through the camera, but very, very little. So it's pretty clean, but it could be a little better, I think. Um, could be I have some leaks from the primary to the secondary that's not forcing all the smoke to go down through that injection nozzle. I need to weld up some of those leaks. Um, there's, a, there's an example of a leak here. I don't know if you can see that smoke, but there's smoke coming out, not out of the pipe there, but out of where it's welded through the metal. I just did that real quick. Um, but I'm gonna get my little lighter here and uh, see if it's pulling. See, well, actually, you can you can see it there. You can see the smoke come out and get sucked back in right there. But I'm actually gonna light this. You can see when I brought it up there, it pulls that flame in, I and mean, you can see there's it's definitely creating a draft and pulling that in. So that's that's good. Pull a nice uh, air in there to, to ignite that secondary burn. I'm looking up there now and I don't see anything. I don't see anything with the camera or just looking at it. So it looks like it's pretty clean. Um, let's take a look down here. See if we can see anything going on different down here. Yeah, I can't really see any flame, but. It could just be that it's so blue and so light that you can't really see, I don't know. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, it's pretty clean. Um, <laughs> so I don't know whether or not you know what to think of that. Definitely clean. Let's take a look in the primary and see what's going on in there. As you can see, definitely smoke in there. There you go. Now you can see that uh, that air is going through a pretty hot area. Uh, that pipe is you know, pretty hot. And that, in fact, if you look at that, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. That right there 
is the, the secondary burn pipe where it mixes the air in there. As you can't tell the camera, that's, uh, that's blowing. I mean, it's red hot in there. Um, I'm gonna shut this door, that's going way too hot now. Now we got a flame. We got that heat going up in there so much. That's that's abnormal because we got so much, uh, you know, burning up in the top of there that it's just forcing way too much down through there. It'll calm down. See there, it's slowing down a little bit. And that's that's more normal. You can see the little bit of orange there. That's what I was seeing the other night. I'd see that orange, but when it was darker, you could actually see blue. So everywhere you don't see orange, there was blue. Um, anyway, I'm gonna let this burn for a while. Um, see if it, just make sure that it keeps enough coals down there to keep things going. So I'm gonna probably burn it for a few hours and make sure it keeps working. But uh, so far, the tests are pretty good. I can shut this off and restart it, and it seems to ignite right back up again. Uh, seems to be doing really great. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll come back later. Okay, uh, still burning really clean. Um, I did put a little bit more wood on a little while ago. I uh, basically shook it down a little bit, threw a couple more pieces of wood in. Not any big pieces, but a couple of pieces. Uh, smoked a little bit just after I did that, but cleared right up. And uh, as you can see, there's not much coming off of there. Um, let's take a look down here. I haven't even looked. Let's see what the secondary burn looks like. Yeah, I can't see much. I can hear it, so I can tell it's burning. But it's just a nice, clean, clear burn. Um, that you can't really see much of. Um, I have to stop this pretty soon because the water's um, getting basically a boiling temperature. <laughs> a lot of steam bubbles coming up, so I'm gonna have to shut it off. But before I do, I'm just gonna check the temperature. I don't know if you can see that. Um, of the water. This is in the shade, so uh, basically on the outside of the tank. So the water is actually probably a little bit warmer. Um, Anyway, we're 100 and, yeah, well, I don't know why it says it's boiling or whatever, but, yeah, so you go above the water, you know, it drops right down. There's still some heat being transferred through the metal, so it's, you know, warmer and outside, but, uh, uh, let's see, 149 or so. Um, I don't dare touch the water, it's, uh, it's steaming and there's bubbles in there coming up off of the boiler, so, I mean, I think it's pretty hot. Um, anyway, that's kind of that. Let's check the stove temp, the pipe temperature. Uh, yeah, the pipe temperatures. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit warmer, 152. Check the other pipe. See if it's any. 143, 152. So this one's a little warmer. I don't know if it's just getting more air. Or just why that's showing that, but. Um, yeah, a little bit warmer. Let's take a look at the put that down. Let's take a look at the uh, primary burn in here. See what it looks like. Let those ashes and smoke come out. Clear a little bit. It's pretty hot in there. I can feel the heat coming coming through there. Um, can't really see down to see the pipes very well, but there's coals down underneath there. Um, probably should. Shake some, wow. Shake some of those coals down a little bit. Just trying to get a little bit of the coals to fall off. But that's pretty hot, I need a longer stick or something. Anyway. That'll cause anything. I'm not seeing any smoke coming out. 
Any real change by doing that. Let's see what's going on down here. Probably. Doesn't really make much difference that I can see. Still a nice clean burn. No real smoke. Um, anyway, I got. Also, just to let you know, I just got the one fan going on this, feeding the air to the primary burn. So I don't have a ton of air, it's, and the exhaust is forced through that one two inch pipe, so you really can't get a ton of air to the primary burn. So the primary burn is not burning super fast, um, but it definitely heated up the wood and it's burning quite well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shut this off. I uh, let the fire down, die down for probably a few hours, and uh, then I'm gonna come back and see if it lights back up. Uh, if not, you know, I can always light it up with a, a match or whatever. But I'm just curious to see how long, you know, if, if I leave it for four hours or so, I want to see if there's enough hot coals in there to light back up once I put air back in. Um, so I'm gonna give that a try, but it sure seems to be working well.